Come on up here. And do this. And then we go back down. And we go fight Knight Kirk. Oh, hi. Why are you there? Go away. Why do you only take 60? At least it killed you kind of quickly. Hi. Ow. Yeah, more humanity. That's honestly part of why we came down here. We should be spawning at any time now. Don't mind me. Just gonna backstab you. For a lot, apparently. Ooh, Kirk. Kirk. Sorry about your life. You've had it pretty rough. Bend it over backwards, never good enough. You poor thing. It must suck to be you. Yeah, we don't actually have to go down here for, like, anything, so I think we're just gonna pass this and go straight for the boss. <clears throat> you know what else I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna put down my soapstone to get summoned for the boss a couple of times, like, stop recording after I beat it. Oh, it looks like I obtained a humanity, a soft humanity, right? That's what you call it when it's in your bar thing, as opposed to in your little menu, oh, in your inventory. Because apparently some weapons and items, like the more humanity that you have, uh, the better you will do. Because you'll have, like, higher defense or attack or whatever it is that it gives you. <clears throat> there are no signs here. That's really disappointing. Well, I guess we'll bring Solar in and go fucking beat the shit out of this dragon. Because it deserves it for being a bitch dragon. Come on, Solar. We got things to do, dragons to kill. I'm gonna stick my sword as far through that gaping dragon as I possibly can. That sounded really dirty. Also, kind of awkward. Really, I just have to hope, like, it doesn't do the puke attack over and over, because that's fucking annoying. But otherwise, it's not a hard boss. This should be a cakewalk, hopefully. But now that I've said that, just do watch. It's going to... I'm, I'm going to die in like 10 seconds. Just wait. Actually, I think he's about to fucking drop himself on me. Can you lock on, please? Thank you. Yeah, 
Is Solaire the one getting hurt, or is Solaire hurting him? Yeah, I think Solaire was the one getting hurt. Now, and now I'm the one getting hurt. Yay. That was fucking quick. Come on, hit him. Because <laughs> that's how that works. Haha, uh, I got your tail. I think he was swimming his tail there. Shit, get out of the way. Oh shit, he got me. Please don't eat me. Why are you eating me? That's not very nice. That did like no damage though. Told you it was an easy boss. <laughs> oh yay, we got the Blight Town key. Now we can go down to Blight Town and fight Quaylag. Oh, snap! We've already done that shit! How? How did you do it out of order? Just stop. Thank you. Jeez. I need to check what time it is now. It's friggin' 5.30. Uh, Kyle left at like. Well, he was in. Oh, it's just a body. Okay. He was in to work at like, uh. 4, but he left at 3 to get there. So, we still got a few good hours here. We don't actually need to open this door fucking at all, I don't think, because there's no item or anything over there. And fuck going through Blight Town. We have mods. We still lagging. I still don't want to fucking go there. Sounds like a terrible idea.
We beat Seath, right? Yeah, we beat him. We totally beat him. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, honestly. Uh, let's see. So I'm pretty sure if I spend one level, I'll be okay. So... Uh, endurance, strength, or vitality? Maybe strength. No, why don't we go vitality? Okay, good. We still have 20,000 souls. Oops. And back to the undead parish. So we've beaten Nido and Seath. Nido's pretty much the hardest one to get to. Uh, the Witch of Isleth is the hardest one to beat. So that leaves us with the Four Kings and the Witch of Isleth. <clears throat> and the Four Kings I've only ever beaten once, but, uh, you know, it shouldn't be that hard to replicate now that I know what to do. I gotta say, though, if you hadn't, like, not beaten a couple of side bosses like me, like you'd beaten everything else that was accessible to you up to this point and you had no souls, that would really suck to have to just kill enemies and grind up souls just for this. Okay, so we single hit those guys. Oh, we could also do, um, the Moonlight Butterfly. Actually, I don't think we can kill that and, um, be a part of the covenant that we're gonna go make. But the moment we get out there, we're probably gonna get invaded, so that'll be fun, right? Sure. So put the crest in the door. Boop. And fake wall. Gotta say, bonfire behind fake wall is low. Even for you, Chrome Soft. How do you expect a player to just find that? This, oh look, there's a bonfire at this very one specific angle that I can see it, and I can kind of see a little light there. That doesn't mean that you would just automatically assume, hmm, I bet I can hit this fucking wall and it'll disappear. Uh, should we take all comers or should we... Yeah, let's take all comers. I was gonna say, should we do that or actually, um, you know, straight up just run through. I think we're gonna fucking run through. It seems like a lot of bullshit to go through just to fight C. I said C, didn't I? I meant Sif. Oh, it looks like they're gonna leave us alone. 
So let's see if we can be safe on our first try here. Hopefully we can. 